Hey, what's up guys, Glock9 here, and welcome back to Cabin in the Woods. It is the morning of day four. Now, I've got a couple of skill points this morning, and I want to just dump them into intellect so we can work towards unlocking the cement mixer, but I'm going to hold off on doing that because we are going to see Trader Jen today, and if by chance she has a cement mixer schematic or a cement mixer itself, then we're just going to buy it, and we won't have to use those points. So we'll see what happens later, and then we'll make that decision. But as you can see, I did some upgrading last night. I put in some bars. And now if I come up here, I can make this jump. But I really don't think the zombies will be able to do that. I don't even think they'll try and do that, because I'll be standing right here. Now I put these bars up, so they can't jump over, and it leaves this middle open for melee combat. And I upgraded the bottom bars, both rows of them, to iron. And I think that's going to be more than enough for the Night 4 Horde. And moving forward, we can continue putting bars up along this strip here, all the way to this area right here. And from here, we're going to have to go up again. And to do that, we're going to have to start removing the roof. But I don't think we need to uh, start worrying about that just yet. I think this platform will hold us over for at least another three or four nights. We'll just see how it goes tonight, I guess. Hopefully it goes well and we don't die on night four. But anyway, the first thing we are doing this morning is a lot of digging. We're going to go do the Buried Supplies quest for Trader Jen and the Treasure Chest. Now, I have a lockpick and lockpicking candy on me because if you don't know, treasure chests are now locked when you dig them up. So you either need to bang into them, which I don't want to do because we have a stone axe and that'll take forever, or you have to lockpick them. So we're going the lockpicking route. Let's do the treasure chest first, actually. Uh, and then we'll go do the buried supplies, and then we'll go see Trader Jen. Actually, let's make a pit stop here at the church real quick and take these two cars apart. We're going to be taking cars apart as we go throughout our day today. For the parts, yes, those are great. If we can find another engine and battery, awesome. But really what I'm after is the gasoline. Nice, look at that. Alright, I don't think zombies spawn in when you grab a treasure chest. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, we grabbed a good amount of coin right there. Level 5 wooden club, which, let's see. Looks to be better than the baseball bat. Let's take that chain mod out of the baseball bat. Put it in the level 5 wooden club. Uh, yeah. It's better, so we'll use that for now. Let's repair it, and let's throw on this uh, leg armor. Yeah, it's better than the iron armor, so... We'll keep that on, and let's go do the Buried Supplies quest now. There we go. Now, I know we get zombie spawns on this one. Let's get out of here. Kenny's the first up. Let's check our vending machine first. Jailbreakers, all right. I'll take that since we just used our only one. Was really looking for a sugar butt so we can get some better bartering here, but that's okay. What's up, girl? I knew you had it in you. What do we got here? Uh, the first aid kits would be nice, but I gotta go for the Molotovs. Alright, let me see your inventory. I got some stuff to sell you here. Okay, I'll take all your gunpowder. All these shotgun shells. All these shotgun shells. All your bullet casings. All your buckshot. What else you got for me? Come on, cement mixer. Nope, that's the stuff I sold her. Uh, we don't really need wheels. Let's see, a uh, small chance to mine rare gems. Okay, I'll take that. Let's grab all this 9mm. Uh, hollow point ammo. Well, you just I think we're good. My day. Let me grab another job. I could help you. Let's see what we got here. I don't want to do another buried supplies. I've got we'll just do some job. clear zombies. Okay. Be careful, and try not to get yourself killed. That is to the northeast. Looks to be uh, around the Dyersville area, maybe just north of Dyersville. 
Let's go ahead and do that now. It's still early, man. I feel like we got a lot done today already. It's not even 10 o'clock yet. So we'll go do this job for Jen. Come back and see Jen. Get our reward. Probably take another job at that point for tomorrow. But then we'll just head home. Maybe we'll loot one of those houses on the way home. Uh, just for the hell of it, depending on what time it is. I'm going to make another pit stop here at the Working Stiff Tools to take these cars apart. And then, you know, we don't have to wait until we finish these Tier 1 jobs for Jen to go to the other trader. I know where there's another trader. It's uh, right, you know, just north of us in the snow biome. Matter of fact, I know where all the traders are here in Navisgain, so, you know, we don't have to follow the rules so much. It's nice to do that when you're playing a random gen world, crank out those jobs as quick as you can. This way you know where the other traders are. You know, unless you just want to go out exploring, which is probably the better way to do it. You know, because that's what I was doing in Apocalypse 2. Just job after job after job, just trying to crank them out so we can open up new traders and see where they're at. And it got really stale really quick. So... As much as I like doing quests for traders and the rewards are great, especially in the beginning and especially in a series like this, Horde Every Night, where you need as much ammo as you can get, you know, I'm going to try and space it out. We'll do a you know, job for Jen and then we'll go exploring on our own and go looting whatever we want to loot, not the places she tells me to loot. You know what I'm saying? So we got to find balance there. Um, otherwise, it's just going to get monotonous. All right, here we go. This should go pretty quick. I don't see any birds. We got to worry about dogs. Let me make sure the blunderbuss is loaded. It is. This seems like the place a dog is going to come running out at us, right? Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> Fucking bird. So worried about dogs. Oh, you bastard. Come here. Stay still. We're off to a good start. There we go. And we're going to mine some more stone later so we can make cobblestone tonight. Oh, there goes that nurse. I don't see any others in there. Because, yeah, we got a bunch of clay soil from digging up the treasure and the buried supplies. So let's grab some stone to make the cobblestone we're going to need tonight to continue upgrading the cabin. Let's get up here real quick. I don't see any more birds, but I never see the fucking birds that attack me, so... They could be anywhere. Some more lockpicks. Nothing up here. Let's get into this trailer. There we go. There's still one more. I don't know if it's in the trailer. No, I think it's on the other side of the trailer. Could actually be a bird, not a zombie. And it is. Oh, look at that shit. Shooting all those clay pigeons finally paid off. We got another zombie in the background trying to beat his way in here. But you know what? He could beat on those fucking cars all day long if he wants. We're grabbing the main loot and getting out of here. All right, I think we're done here. Let's go. And you know what? Instead of going right back to see Jen, let's go raid one of the houses in Dyersville. Why not? We got time, and we're up here already. So we might as well make the most of it. Now, you know those two skill points I had this morning, which now we have three of them. I wanted to put another one into Pummel Pete and another one into Sexual Tyrannosaurus, but... I think at this point in the game, it's much more important to unlock the cement mixer first. So once we level up again, which should happen during the day today, if not, it'll definitely happen during the horde fight tonight, we'll put two more points into intellect, and we'll put two points into advanced engineering, and that will unlock the cement mixer, and we'll be able to craft one tonight. And like I said, I think that's much more important at this stage in the game than being a little bit tougher with a club, you know what I mean? Because we need to start making cement and start upgrading the cabin beyond cobblestone. Let's do this corner house right here. 
I don't think I've ever been in this place before. Well, the front door's open. That's convenient. Some lead and brass. Where are you at, zombies? Come on out. Alright, I know I heard another one. Man, this place is in serious need of a renovation. Where the hell is this zombie at? Outside, maybe? Oh. Where is that? She could be upstairs. Right? Because this door, what, leads to the backyard? There's not a dog out here, is there? I don't see one. Oh, shit! <laughs> There's the zombie. Alright, let's loot downstairs before we head upstairs. There's not much going on down here anyway. Basically just this room and then a small kitchen. Which, we are a bit hungry. Maybe we can find some food in here. Oh, got a nice skylight right here. That's a nice feature. So I gotta imagine there's a way up onto the roof. I don't know though, I'm starting to think this is not a dungeon style POI. It certainly doesn't seem like one. So we might not have any real loot here. Like any main loot, you know? Doesn't seem like there's fucking much here at all, does there? Hardly any zombies. Nothing to loot. Unless I'm missing something. Oh, I can't scrap anything right now. I'll just take the t-shirt. Yeah, look at this. There's fucking nothing here. I don't even see a way to uh, get on the roof. Do we go out here? I don't think so. Man, of all the houses in Dyersville, I picked this piece of shit. It'd be nice for a house flipper. But for looting, it sucks ass. Nothing. There's absolutely nothing up here. Alright, well, I picked a winner. Fuck it. Let's go see Jen. We'll go get our reward. Take another job, which we'll do tomorrow. And then it's still kind of early. Maybe we will raid one of those houses on the way home. What's up, Jen? The name's Jenny. You Jenny? Are quite the no, I'm going to call you Jen. Good job. I had an ex-girlfriend that used to put an IE at the end of everything. Drove me fucking nuts. So don't you start doing it. Otherwise, this town's going to have that. one I've less trader. You know what I'm saying? Impact. Uh, buried supplies. Nah, let's you do like the fetch some... quest. Oh, thank goodness. I that is to the northeast. Let's just make sure it's not that same fucking cabin we went to already. Oh, no, look at that. It's the barn across from the farmhouse. Beautiful. I actually wanted to go raid those two places, and we can do it tomorrow. We'll raid the farmhouse first, then we'll do the barn, along with the fetch quest for Jen or whatever, and that'll be our quest for tomorrow. In the meantime, let's stop here real quick, actually, take this car apart for more gasoline. And then we're gonna raid one of these houses on the way home, since the house we raided in Dyersville was a bust. All right, here we go. This place could also use a serious renovation. Might make for a cool house flipper episode. Hopefully it has better loot than the last house, though. All those doors are locked. It certainly looks like a dungeon-style POI, so... It's showing some promise. Let's check around back. Yep, look at this. We got a lantern. And we can climb this up to the rooftop. That's probably where we should start. Oh, this door's open. What do we got in here? Oh, here we go. Lay down, lady. Close that door. Oh, that's probably where we would drop in if we climbed up to the rooftop. Oh, look, a pile of yellow shit. Turns out they did add human turds back into the game. 
Well, hopefully we can find food in here, because our stomach's going to start rumbling here pretty soon. There we go. There's a little something. What do we got back here? Bathroom? Oh, shit. Kenny's passed out in the bathroom. Typical Kenny. Pretty narrow staircase right here. Got a fire zombie. Oh, floor's giving out. And it looks like we're going upstairs again. Into the attic. Got another fire zombie, and here's the main loot. Yeah, this would be a pretty cool place to do a house flipper on. A lot of it is falling apart. We're going to have to do a lot of rebuilding just to get it back to, like, the standard template. You know what I mean? But at that point, then we can start knocking walls down, make this attic nice and open. You can make it like a studio apartment up here. All right, let's switch out our scrap gloves for these level four scrap gloves. And then we'll get out of here, see if we can find some stone to harvest real quick, and then we'll get home, unload all of this loot, gear up for the horde, and then we'll do some upgrading to the cabin while we wait for the horde to show up. Here, you know what? Before I forget, let's go ahead and use these three skill points. I'm going to put two of them into intellect to get us to level four, and I'll put one into advanced engineering, and then the next time we level up, We'll be able to open up Tinkerer and craft a cement mixer. Here, let's get a bunch of cobblestone crafting in the workbench while we uh, get this loot all sorted out and get geared up. How many sewing kits do we have? Three of them. Well, with the leather, duct tape, and cloth, we can make one of these double pocket mods and we can make one of the single pocket mods. I'll go ahead and do it. We'll throw the double pocket mod on our shirt, the single on our pants for now. When I find more sewing kits, we can make another double pocket mod and we'll replace that single. But for now, it's better than nothing. Alright, let's open this shit up. I mean, we could leave the hatch closed and do as much melee damage as we can at the door until the hatch is about to give and then come up to this location, but fuck it, open it all up. I want to see how well this setup works. Oh shit, I should bring my club down so we can get some melee action in. Probably should repair that thing too. And here we go, our first victim. Come on up here, buddy. Oh, <laughs> bobbing and weaving. That's only going to help you for so long. I brought a few Molotovs with me tonight. Um, I figure maybe I'll see about using one of them. But uh, probably not. Probably best to hold on to those for a horde night when we really need them. I guess they can make that jump. That's not good. Oh, Mo's gonna do it too now. Yep, motherfucker. Get out of here, Mo. Alright, she fell. Fuck off, Kenny. Alright, that's an easy fix. We can easily fix that so that doesn't happen again in the future. Yeah. 
Man, this has been a decent little horde for night four. This has got to be the end of it, though. Not bad. Other than that incident with uh, the nurse and Mo jumping across the barrier here. It was pretty successful. I did take a few hits because I got a little bit too close to the bars. That was my fault, though, not the base's fault. Let's get and grab these loot bags here. But the issue with Mo and the nurse making that jump, that can be solved with some bars. Let me grab this cobblestone. Uh, there was a zombie in this corner here for a second, but you can see they didn't do much damage. A little damage to that block. A little damage here, here, there, up here. Oh, I just saw one. Right there. Uh, these bars took most of the damage, and they're not even that bad. We can repair those. And that's pretty much it. So I think it did really well. These bars didn't take any damage up here. Oh, the wood ones did, for some reason. But the iron ones did not. So with an easy fix using bars, so the zombies can't make that jump across... I think this setup can take us probably into night seven at least. And here's the thing though. If we want to add more rows of bars, we need to do that during the horde fight. We need to have bars and iron on us and a hammer, of course, during the fight. And when we see they're about to break through the bars, then we put up a second set. Because if we start putting up rows and rows of bars, five or six rows of bars, it's going to get to the point where the zombies are like, well, fuck those bars, and just start taking down the cabin. And we can't let it get to that point. But with only two, maybe three rows of bars, the zombies should come, keep coming for us. And as they break through them, then we add more. But anyway, we leveled up a couple of times, so I'm going to throw a point into Tinkerer. And let's see what we need to craft this cement mixer. Here we go. Forged iron, springs, an engine, and mechanical parts. I don't think we have that many pieces of forged iron. We don't. But that's okay. We can craft what we need out of the forge. Let's just craft as much as we can. 22 pieces. That works for me. We'll get this cement mixer... Uh, crafted and put down tonight. I'm not going to be able to really craft any concrete tonight, though, because I've only got three pieces of stone, so we're going to have to mine some stone tomorrow. Or I could knock out one of these floor blocks tonight and start digging an underground bunker, and we could mine stone that way. So let me think about that. But either way, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Cabin in the Woods, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.